Hi everyone, welcome back to another F124 Lewis Hamilton career video. Now if you've been following the series uh, up to now, now you'll know that this is the last race of the season and fingers crossed we get that for a Ferrari seat we signed. We've had three meetings so far, Fred Fisser has been there but we're still yet to sign for Ferrari. Like I said, this is the last race of the season. Uh, this race is at Qatar. Uh, let me shrink this down and as you can see it is a sprint weekend. So we've got, what is it? Uh, 10 lap sprint race followed by a 29 lap race so yeah so what i'll go ahead and do i'll go ahead and get uh practice done and we'll jump straight into qualifying and as you can see it's the first time i've got a face cam hopefully you get a face cam throughout the whole video now and hopefully fingers crossed it works out all good and we can have this going forward but so i'm really looking forward to that but yeah without without further ado uh we'll just jump, jump straight into the sprint qualifying it's all about flow and pace today, qualifying in Qatar. A high-speed test that will set the grid for tomorrow's race. So welcome along. Okay, so uh, qualifying for the sprint race now. Let's get our setup on the car. I'm gonna make sure I need to, might need to adjust the camera size because it's the first time I'm actually doing this. But, so let's... Uh, vehicle setup load set up I should have a Qatar one somewhere there it is uh, we'll just do one run I think uh, got got that on uh, come back exit that okay right let's go okay oh, I was giving this put us well back into the track thought we'd been a lot further on than this that's fine Alright, it's been a minute since I've done this track, but we should be good. Okay, right, here we go. Down the main straight. Alright, ERS, turn that off there. Alright, Max has just done a 124. Oh no, there you go, George is beating that. So we have already won the championship, the drivers' championship, constructors. So all we're actually looking to do is to uh, beat Ferrari, really. Okay, last corner. Just like would like to be somewhere in the top six. And we are P1. Let's go. A 122. Anyone behind us? No, no one's behind us. Right. Let's go back to the garage and see where we come up against the other guys time-wise. Right. Uh, session info. Uh, that one that one we're, <laughs> we're 1.7 seconds faster than George no no one's gonna I don't, oh, okay it's fine we can just retire we, I think we can so go back and uh, yeah we'll retire and we'll just get straight into the race okay here we go oh it's like a setting forget sun all right let's skip that skip well, that Okay, so I know we've already won the championship, but it's amazing. Yeah. It's not time to switch off yet. We can relax. All right. This race so, enjoy yeah, we'll just take these mediums result. to the end of the race. We're in part five. Most likely to do anything there. All right. Let's get this race under go underway. Okay. Good start. Good getaway. Russell's on our. Right by the looks of it. There he is, right behind us. Be good if we can get 
a Mercedes 1 2. But with Russell's form this year, I'm not putting past him, <laughs> he'll just fall back. This race is so weird, not at night. Whoa. I'm so used to doing this race at night. It's quite, it looks quite cool with the uh, sun falling. But it's amazing how tracks feel uh, when you've got the different lighting conditions. Oh, Russell's hanging on to me. Right, they're going to start getting DRS now. Alright, so let's burn it along here. Okay, right, right, we need to try and get out of... Russell's range. Try and get that second gap. Whoa! This car's a little bit fidgety at the moment. Oh yeah, that's what I need to do. Check, see what the camera's like. Oh yeah, it's okay. Oh, I'm looking at the camera, seeing if it's too big or too small. Oh, <laughs> I had over a second to uh, Russell. I just screwed it up. It's fine. wide just then. Don't want to get another one of them. Okay, right, come on. Although it would be good dragging Russell along with us. Oh, look at him speed. Yeah. Tell he's really pushing. Alright, let's try and get a second gap to him. And it's almost there. Green flag. Oh, someone had an off. Very minor. Ah. It's a bit tricky getting Russell out of my DRS. Oh, oh, oh. That was close to a warning, that was. Okay, 1.1 one, one one to Russell. Okay, let's go. Right, he would not have got DRS on that lap, which is good. Just hit the fastest lap. Oh, we're using up so much DRS on this on this one. Okay, now all we need to do now is just try and concentrate on increasing that gap if we can. Oh, I get a warning. Caution, caution. Someone's come Is that off con? Yeah. Nearly two second gap to Russell. Mm. 
There it is, 2.1 seconds, lovely. Brilliant, right. Now just push on, unless anything major happens now in the race. Uh, yeah, it's just getting these laps done now, and then uh, get to the end and hopefully get 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 the win. Right, we're just about to start the last lap of the race. Been uneventful, really. We've got about just over four seconds lead over us. Oh uh, no, Norris! Oh my gosh, didn't even pay any attention to that. When did that happen? Oh, see. That's what I said, didn't I? I said to you at the beginning of the video that I don't hold out much hope that Russell's going to get on the podium with us. Oh, man, that's terrible. Okay, so we've got the McLaren boys on the podium with us. Oh, come on, George, come on. So I reckon once we pulled out of DRS range from him, because that would have been dragging him along, he didn't have the pace to hold the McLarens back. Oh, he's got a decent gap to Alonso. So I think fourth is his best finishing position as well. He hasn't actually been able to get onto the podium, unfortunately. Well, he's got one more chance. Oh. Coming up in the race. But yeah. Don't know what we can do to get Russell on the podium with us. Alright, coming up to the final bend now. We did get the we did keep the fastest lap of the race, which is good. There you go. I don't think Lewis says anything. Oh he does. Hey, nice, nice, Lewis. Right, okay, that'll do it for the sprint race. So that's good that we won that. Uh, let's just confirm that Russell did come in fourth. <laughs> I don't think he came anywhere else. I think he had the gap. Yeah, George came in fourth. That's a shame. But anyway, right, we'll move on to qualifying now. And then it's on to the race. Okay, time for qualifying now. So it's the main race. Uh, in theory... We should be. We should get pole. So I don't think there's anything we need to do. Uh, check car should be. We'll just double check it. Uh, load setup. Uh, Qatar just to make sure. Other than that, let's go to track. Okay, here we go. Here we go. At night now. Best is better. <laughs> I love this section bit here. You can knock it down into seven without changing gear. Uh, without braking, sorry. Alright, here we go. Okay, onto the ERS on the main straight. Got nobody in front of us, clear track. Ready to set the ERS off. I do 125s at the moment. Did you set a purple middle sector, our uh, first sector? We did. Right, that's us down into P16 now. George has just done a 124. Little lift there. Back into 7, back on ERS. Alright, to the line. We did a 126. We're on pole. Let's see how by how much. So return to the garage. 
Fingers crossed we don't have to do another run. Don't want to do another run really. I'm not an F2. Uh, and we... Oh, 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 it's a lot closer this time. Five tenths, Oscar Piastri. I'm just, just roll dice. I don't, I, don't, I don't think they're going to improve enough. If they do, we're going to drop a few places. So let's come back from there. Retire from session. And then we'll see where we are. Yeah, yeah, so we keep pole. Uh, Lando got th second, the Oscar third, and Russell down in fifth. That's fine, that's fine. Lovely, right, on to the race. Okay. Welcome back to Qatar. So. And alongside me in the common. Skip all of that. Uh, right, race strategy. Having not given it everything, you're going to be devastated and disappointed for months. So yeah. let's get out there and give it a really <coughs> I think we'll just we'll just we'll just stick with that setup, shall we? Thirteen, and then I don't know. I mean, if we edit, if we come in a lap earlier. Nah, let's just leave it as it is. We'll leave that as it is. Uh, Fuel-wise, we'll leave the fuel as it is. It always got extra three laps. Be fine. The fuel is a bit of an issue around this. Actually, that is true. I have done this before, and I have run out of fuel. I'm going to stick an extra lap of fuel in, so that gives us four laps over. We should be fine. We should be fine, though, because our car over the few past races has been better on fuel. Right, okay. So, go back. Put my glove on. And let's get into it. Here we go. Oh, a slow start. Oh no, what are we in? Fifth, can we go any outside of... Oh, oh, man! What happened to that? It was science, wasn't it? <laughs> but we survived, which is good. Okay. Alright, oh, gotta get Russell. Get him here without contact. We do. Alright. Alright. Try and get in front of. Oh, a bit too late then. It's fine now, we're good. Alright, just keep your sights. Oh, we got we're faster than me. I've had to lift. Oh, I've had to lift big time. All right. Hopefully, we should get one the straight. Okay, power. Let's go. Let's go. I'd rather have been on the other side though. Catch up to those McLarens. Oh, Piastri's in the lead. Alright, this is good, this is good. We're alright, we're okay. Oh, <laughs> I nearly went into six, babe. Should be able to get Norris here. Stick him out wide. Okay, alright, it's just Piastri. Okay, let's try and get Piastri. In there, no. Nope. Oh no, we didn't touch. We didn't touch. Did I get DRS. I did. Nice. Beautiful. Into first place. Let's go. Alright, let's see what Piastri's got. 
Got tire wear doing. Not brilliant. Look at that 8% on that front left. I don't know what to do. I mean, if we get, if we get a safety car come out, I don't know what to do. Do we pit? Do we just stick to the plan? Well, ideally, we just want to do the uh, just do the one stop. Uh, there's one second to Piastri. Okay, and relax a little bit. We've got a bit, oh, a bit of breathing room. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Well done. Okay. All right, Piastri's but Oh no, Norris got in front. All right, let's just concentrate for this lap now. See if we can get a bit more of a gap to them. Oh. Nearly 1.5, there it is, 1.5. These first four laps have been a bit sweaty. Oh. Right, what was our pit lap? Lap 13, I think, wasn't it? It's going to be a long old race, this is. Got a 129, that should be fine. Oh, two seconds now. Okay, lap six done. Okay, nice work, really good job with that. Got the goal done. One got pit window, there it is. Tires, look at that. Twenty one percent, that's all full. Oh, turn, turn, turn. All right, well, 
Unless anything major happens, we're keeping a decent gap now to Norris. That gap should be fine. Because their tyres are going to wear exactly the same as ours anyway. But unless anything major happens now, it's this until the first pit stop. Start of lap seven, so what we've we got seven more laps to go, six more laps to go. Okay, right, let's just push on now until we get to that first pit stop stage. Okay, just about to start our pit lap now. Okay, there it is. But in major news, Lando on lap 10 came uh, retired. Uh, his car was on the side of the road, Gap so so he obviously had a mechanical failure. He was literally part. He was literally right here on the right hand side. That's where he's parked. <laughs> and what he's done is, he's put Russell into third. Now he can't screw this up. He's been gifted this third podium spot. Please don't screw it up, Russell. Okay. Yeah, we're pitting now. Why are you giving me that goal now? Oh, I've got four laps to do it in. That's fair enough. But we've got a decent gap to Piastri. And obviously Russell and Alonso. Please, Russell, come on. You can keep this position. Not even you can screw this up. Okay, pit in this lap and remember the speed limit. Yeah, we will. Yeah. But look at our uh, tyre has been, I mean, it, it's high. <laughs> 40 thingy. But it's not, uh, grip wise, I've not been feeding it. It's been, it's been okay, okay it has. The targets for now. Focus on the pit stop. Yeah, I know, I know. Right, come on, boys. Right, who's coming up to us? Right, so Piastri and Russell. Well, Rock, obviously, Russell stayed out. Alonso's pitted. Science is going to pass us. And who is that? Max. I'm assuming that's Max on the map. No, it's Perez. Okay, so Max is pitted and Leclerc's pitted. Okay, so we're going to come out in P. Looks like we're going to hold P5, which is pretty good. So. All right, now we've just got to chase down those, uh, what is it, Red Bull and Ferrari. But obviously, they still got to pit. All right, we'll get these tyres up to temp. Well, at the moment, it's sitting at the low, higher 70s. Push, push, use your overtake button, let's go. Yeah, all right, we've got time. Oh. Don't think. Yeah, they're, they're going to pit before we catch them. I'm assuming they're going to pit this lap as well. Got Gasly 2.4 seconds behind us, but that's fine. Yeah, there you go. George's yeah, they the both pit fitted. Yeah, yeah. Now. They've all pitted. All pitted. So we should take the lead back of the race. Gasly going to pit behind. Yes. Alright, there we go. Back in the lead of the race. Oh, I think it was like 10 seconds. Oh, a bit wide. 11.8. 12 seconds, nice. Sweet. Alright. I really hope Ferrari's got a... They've got a... 
sign us now. So hope so. I really don't want to go into next season not signed for Ferrari. Because then we, we do need that. means we need to renegotiate our contract with Mercedes. Which I think we only need a one year contract to begin in anyway. To, at the beginning anyway. Uh, I'm wondering as well whether or not to shorten the season. Because we're doing a uh, half race distance at the moment. So maybe go down to 35%. Don't know. Don't know. It's been good doing half race distance, but I don't know what we actually gained by it, if anything, because I really would like to do like a two stop strategy, but this half race distance doesn't allow that. I mean, you need to do at least, I don't know, if you could do a three quarter race distance, then obviously a two stop would work. And obviously a full race distance as well, but yeah, because I do like doing the two stops, but. <clears throat> I mean that could always be a thing it could, we could, that could be a challenge for us for next season if we, okay what we could do that could be a good idea actually ok Lewis, picking your moments to use ERS is important so let's try and be as consistent as possible with it please ok we, what we could do for next season if we're still with Mercedes we could always do a two stop st strategy for each race, that'll just make it interesting won't it because we'll be in the fastest car and we, and we have had races where we've had enough of a gap we've actually been able to pit, I think the last race didn't we, at Vegas we pitted for some softs just to go out and set the fastest lap just to make sure no one else could get it so maybe that's, that's what we're, yeah let's do that then, if we're not with Ferrari next season then we will do every single race will be a two stop strategy that means we can play around with strategies we could do yeah we could do whatever we don't have to go what they say we can go soft soft medium whatever now make it a bit more interesting for us maybe a few more battles as well because this season you know we haven't had many battles but what we have been able, well, what we've needed to do this season was to impress Ferrari. That's that's been our goal. So, which I think we've definitely done. I just, I just hope, hope at the end of this, we get that magic secret meeting coming up. I really want to see Lewis in red. And in other news, in like real F1 news, you know obviously Lewis won at Silverstone the other week and we got the Hungary Grand Prix, that's actually today, I'm, on the, the day that we're filming this video is the Hungary Grand, Grand Prix. So, I don't know, what if Lewis has got a championship winning car by the end of this season? Does he stay with Mercedes? Does he say to, Mac to Ferrari, look, can we defer this year? I don't know, there's, there's been, there has been, I, th I think I've been hearing chat online and they're like, like Lewis would be crazy to leave Mercedes if he has got a car that, I mean at the moment you could easily say that they, they are, Mercedes are beating Ferrari at the moment. So, and it is Lewis, he can probably do whatever he wants to do. It just depends how much he wants that red. I mean, like I said in the previous video, ex-champs going to Ferrari has not had a good success rate. Alonso, uh, Vettel, both ex-champs went to Ferrari and couldn't get another championship. I just went there because it's Ferrari, which I get. But, you know, Lewis deserves that eighth championship. To go in the record books, it, it, it needs to happen. And if that means not racing for Ferrari, then I think he should do it. I really do. 
But, you know, Ferrari might turn around an awesome car. I mean, not since Michael Schumacher have they had a dominant car anyway, so which is a shame, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Right, well, anyway, we'll get this lap done, and then I'll push on, and like I say, if anything major happens, we'll react to it. If there's a safety car, if there's a safety car we'll definitely pit. Probably have to go on to mediums again, because... Uh, the softer will get destroyed around here. <laughs> that's, that's actually a good point. It's, uh, it's already set to mediums. Oh, probably not a good time to do that. There we go. Yeah. So if there is a safety car, then we'll get, we'll pit and we'll go on to mediums. But I don't think there will. There's so much runoff on this track. There is that I can't see any cars being in the way to impede anybody else. So, but uh, well, we 15 seconds in front of Piastri. Ah, oh. so there we are doing. We was chatting. We're doing all of that lot. <laughs> Somehow, you can, why? How can Russell do this to us? We need to get Russell on the podium just so we can get a Mercedes to both of us and look. He's, I mean, he can still do it. He's only, he's literally right there with uh, Alonso. Oh, I don't know. Gets a gift with Norris going out. I would like to say he's got the same parts on his car that I have, but I'm not even sure that's the case, because now you can pick individual parts. Well, at least he hasn't got Leclerc to worry about. Leclerc's well back there. Battery charge is high. Let's use that overtake button a bit more. Am I supposed to be using the ERS? This challenge. Oh, there we go. But anyway, all right. Well, we'll push on, get the rest of these laps done, and see what happens at the end of the race. Fingers crossed, Ferrari. Come on, Ferrari. <sighs> okay, at least that's done. Okay, good. Right, let's push on and get the rest of these laps done. Right, just crossed the finish line, we've got two more laps to go, and I don't know how he did it, Russell is in third, this is flipping amazing, and he looks like he's got some sec he's got second and a bit, as long as he's out, I think as long as he's out of uh, Alonso's DRS range, <laughs> hopefully, fingers crossed, Alonso's going to, I mean, uh, Russell's going to be on the podium with us. This would be amazing. This has been like my... Oh! Is it just... Oh! He was briefly in second. Did you see that? On the board. He's hustling Piastri for that second place. That'd be even better if he could get second place. Oh my gosh. But also, I'd have a thing. Look at our tyre wear. 29% on that front left so I think we probably could have pitted a lap earlier so because I thought it was it was in the 40s wasn't it I think we probably could have pitted a lap earlier uh, but it's fine the hards are working well they are another thing as well rejoin position oh there it is full at the moment so look 23 seconds to Piastri almost got another pit stop so going on about you know uh, our strategy for next season if we are still with Mercedes which I hope we're not 
Look, we've already we've nearly got a second pit stop in hand anyway. If we had fresh rubber, we'd be going a lot quicker than them anyway. It's just like, take, like if you take this race for instance, it would just be interesting to know how long the softs would actually last. Whoa, whoa, oh, damn it! Okay, that never happens. Yeah, going back to how how far you could actually take the softs before they're completely destroyed. I don't know, but we're on a last lap of race now. A few more corners to go, and that is the first season done. It's been good. I've enjoyed it. Popped up. I don't know why the uh, tire thing popped up. Oh. But yeah, only 30 percent, and we've done 16 laps on these. But there we go. Come up to the check flag. Congratulations to the team. Thank you so much for your consistent efforts. This is an amazing result for everybody. That's a good message. I like that. That's a good, like, nice little message. Matt's got driver of the day. Yeah, whatever. Right, okay, come on, come on, come on. Do we have that Ferrari meeting? Alright, let's find out. And I can see the drivers starting to So let's celebrate the end of the season, Oh yeah, I forgot. George is on the podium with us. Got you kept third, which is really good. So that was our first one three. One three. Anyway, let's get to the to the meeting, see if we got a meeting. Come on. Contract event. Hmm. What does that mean? Right. Uh, contract event. Go to this. Just says end of season as well. Look. Damn it. There's nothing else. Uh, anything here? Right. Contract performance review. With as soon as uh, you heard. Draw your contract target. The one at the team. It's static. Blah 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 blah. Opportunity. Ah, we have an opportunity with Scuderia uh, Ferrari on the cards after our meeting this season and they must be thrilled to see your performance this season. I have attached a final performance report for you, uh, love to stare at. Oh, oh, okay. So I'm wondering, so that's just about drivers to win the driving champion once again, achieve blah, blah, blah. And that's that. So... It's first time for me, never done this before. So let's just make sure nothing else is here. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, no, no, no. I can go through and do all that later. I have to secure, might have to secure spot. Why do I have to, if I want to sign Ferrari, I don't want to secure any parts for Mercedes, do we? Right, okay, so let's, let's go to team. Oh, go to team select. I did, I'm sorry, I didn't see that. It's time for you to make a decision on your next leg of your F1 journey. Okay. X that. Ooh, okay. So, is this how it's... All right, okay. So, I'm not... Obviously, can't sign for any of these, I would imagine, because they're all in red. Ferrari's got a thingy next to it, so I'm assuming... It says secret meeting information. Oh, that doesn't pop up for the others. So, if I click triangle on that... Information on Scuderia uh, Ferrari. As you have met with Scuderia uh, Ferrari HP this season, they are eager to have you join the team for next season. Let's go! Here is your last look at the information they have provided. So their performance, they've got fourth in the constructors, 220 points, that's good. Leclerc, all better than uh, and science, that's good for us joining them. Uh, their development and their hopes. Oh, it, there it is, look. Lewis Hamilton and Charles Leclerc, so we will be doing it. So, right, if we go back, highlight that, so continue with that. Ooh, she's all new. Come on. There's a pen, I see a pen on that table. She's handed a cost of contract. Oh, here we go, right, recommended 94. Yeah, that's fine, we'll do that. So it's me. Or at me, at Lewis and Charles Leclerc at the top. Oh, hmm. We have the option. 
We can go for a multi-contract thingy. Renegotiate. I don't see a reason not to go to another team at the moment. Should we? Should we? What? I don't know what Lewis has done in real life. What's he signed? Is it just a two-year deal? I don't know. Let's do two seasons. Let's do two seasons. It's got a renegotiation date anyway, so that's fine. Hold to sign. Here we go. Pressing the button. Contract signs. Press continue. Oh, I've got a little trophy at the top. Sign on the dotted line. Are we now Ferrari driver? Oh, okay. So let's fast forward this. We don't need to care about any points or allocations in theory. Get rid of that. Come on, come on, get to the end of the front. Right, finishing the finish line. Uh, fuck, next season. Yes, please. Right. Is that the last time we're going to see him in those black overalls? Oh, I don't know. Right, rivalry one over Leclerc, but we're going to be his teammate. Right, that over thingy done. Statistics, blah blah blah. So we've had nine wins, five poles, championship points, first in the, in the championship. Uh, our, our rating was plus five, so he was 88. Bloody hell. It's crap, isn't it? There's the constructors champs that me and Russell got. And there's the drivers that we got, which is good. Shame. We would have liked to got the eighth championship with... Uh, Ferrari, but this kind of makes sense, doesn't it? That we won it with Mercedes, we had so many with Mercedes, so now we can go on and get that ninth one with Ferrari. Okay, skip, get through this. Silly season, okay, that's done, right. I'm thinking we'll keep exactly the same uh, races as before. So that should all be what we've done. Oh, no, 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 it's not, is it? Oh, we've got to go through. Right, okay, so, hold on. Japan, China, Red Bull there, that's fine. Uh, Monza, yes. Oh, is this set? How, like, flag as flag? Oh, okay, yeah, it is, it is. Okay, uh, I might remove that one. Let me remove Qatar. And I want to put uh, Jeddah in because I really do love that track. So add Jeddah. So we start Jeddah. Uh, yeah, we'll keep those two in, I think. I wanted to go to Australia, but I don't know. I, I, I do Australia so much. Don't care about any of these ones. Spain, yes, yes, yes. Hungary, no. <laughs> put that in the bin. Yeah, okay, I think that's good. Got Brazil, Portugal. Mm, not sure about Portugal. If we was to put Portugal in, what would we lose? Uh, we could lose Spain, I suppose. Spain, Portugal near each other. Let's do that. Remove, remove Spain, and we'll put Portugal in there. So, add track. Yeah, I think that'll do. I like that. I like that a lot. And then our last race is in Vegas, which is pretty cool. That's just a good, good, good track to end on. All right, so advance that. Yeah, here we go. Look at him in red. That's the first time. I've, I've not looked at any other videos of other people doing this online. That is the first time I get to see him in red. Wow. That's so cool. And, that <laughs> and then there's Les Leclerc at the back. Wow, that's brilliant. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, right, skip that. Right, I think, I think, oh, select scenario. Put a twist on the usual rules of the R&D system. Only one R&D scenario can be active at one time. Uh, they can only be activated between seasons, but deactivated at any time. So, oh, look, aero only. High inflation, upgrades will become more expensive the more you develop. That could be quite one cool one to do actually. I don't really want to limit it to any one of these. I mean, if I would, I'll do on durability because it's crap. But maybe we do high inflation. 
because that means yeah less development I suppose we could do that let's do that one I quite like that one all right advance select high inflation yes get a little trophy for that nice all right I don't want to go too far into it because I want to do that in the next video uh, <laughs> there he is see him in the red standing there looking sweet come on get past all of this we want to see him I'm assuming it's just literally going to be the start of the season yeah there he is look at him in red oh he looks so cool I love it actually what I might do can I do it here take a screenshot there we go lovely go back Awesome. Right, I think that'll do it for this video, guys. Uh, so we done it. We actually done it. We got Lewis into red, into Ferrari. And I'm really looking forward to this new season now. Driving for Ferrari with Charles Leclerc. It's going to be great. He actually looks quite good when we call it red. He does. I'm looking forward to driving that red at Scarlet Ferrari as well. Okay, yeah. So that'll do it for this video, guys. I hope the cam and gaming has all worked out. I think I think the highest we can go up to is 1080p, maybe 44p, depending on what I can do in the uh, editing part of it. But hopefully it's worked out okay and it's all good. Okay, I think that'll do this video, you guys. Uh, yeah, looking forward to the next race, start of a new season with Lewis Hamilton at Ferrari, and it's going to be awesome. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys, bye.